What's up guys, it's Carter Schaefer and welcome back to my channel. I am extremely excited to share something with you today that I have been trialing for about a month now and was just released on the Allbirds website. And that is the brand new tree flyers by Allbirds. Now this is Allbirds very first dedicated running shoe. They are known for making the world's most comfortable shoes. They've made many iterations of shoes. I'm wearing a pair of their shorts right now. They've expanded it, their lineup into many, many different things. But one thing that they never had was a actual true, tried and true dedicated running shoe. And that's what this is with the tree flyers. So I've been trialing this for about a month. I've ran in it. I played action sports in it. I've just walked in them casually, worn them to work and pretty much put these through the ringer just so that I could share with you my honest feedback after wearing these for about a month, what I love about them, what I don't love so much about them, and kind of help you to make a decision if maybe the tree flyers are the right shoe for you. So without further ado, let's get into what I like and dislike about the brand new Allbirds tree flyers. So first up, we're gonna talk about the size and the fit. Now, I've got a little bit wider feet than average, I would say. I'm typically a 12 and a half, so some shoes I get a 12, some I get a 13. Fortunately, Allbirds actually offers half sizes, so I got exactly what I needed with it, which was the 12 and a half, and I can tell you that these fit me perfectly. Now, as an example, I actually have the first iteration of the tree dashers, flyers, dashers, and this is what I actually used as a running shoe for the longest time. Now, these are size 12, the 12s fit me a little bit tight, so I'm actually really excited that Allbirds has the size 12 and a half with the half sizes, and it fits me perfectly. I wouldn't want anything more. Typically, you're supposed to size up a size if you're doing a running shoe, um, but for me, I'm comfortable with the 12 and a half, so for me, it fits true to size. I would order what you pretty much wear and everything else. Before we go any further, if you plan on picking up the brand new Allbirds tree flyers or really anything else on the Allbirds website, I have a link in the description below. And if you use my link, it supports the channel, it supports me, and Allbirds will even throw in a little something extra for you should you decide to use my link when purchasing your brand new pair of shoes. And now it doesn't just work for the tree flyers, it works for a lot of other things. Just check the description below, but I really appreciate all the support and you guys using my link. Now, as far as the feel, as you will notice, this has the same mesh kind of knit lining that the previous dashers had. Um, I think Allbirds does a great job. I'm a big fan of their wool that they have in the wool runners, which you're not really supposed to run in, but the wool runners are very, very comfortable. These are pretty comfortable as well, and I'm just a big fan of the overall woven and, and knit feel, and especially the look. I think it looks really, really good with, with kind of that knit lining. Now, as far as stability, the issue that you run into with knit lining is the stability. The When you are kind of cutting, you've got that up, you know, upward motion here that goes back and forth. And you can see that there's a little bit of extra give there. So that's the thing that you're kind of going to sacrifice when you have uh, mesh lining. But I will say the support is there. It's very, very good. And I've actually had no issues when playing action sports. I was actually playing tennis about a week ago and I was making some really hard cuts to the point where I was sliding, you know, over the, the, the courts and by making really, really hard cuts. And I felt like I had pretty good traction at all times. And one thing that you'll notice and why I, what I think really makes this stand out above maybe the tree dashers is actually the back here. So one of the things that Allbirds added with these is they actually added this little bit of stability in the back. Here's some like harder plastic um, and that allows you to cut a little bit better because your heel isn't moving when you're cutting. It's just the front of your foot. So you're cutting, maybe the front of your foot moves a little bit, but you're always anchored here in the back. So I think Allbirds did a really good job. This is actually, if you watched my previous video on the tree dashers, my biggest complaint was when you're playing action sports. I was I think I was playing football in them a couple of times. Um, nothing super competitive, but I noticed when I was trying to cut really fast and really hard, my foot was kind of sliding all over the place. And this kind of helps with locking it in. Now, another thing that I want to say about this that really helps is I complained in the last video that the tree dashers did not allow, they, they kind of stuck up a little bit too high and they would rub my foot raw. I actually had this problem probably about a week ago because I wore my tree dashers 
with low cut socks and uh, they were just rubbing the entire time and they literally rubbed a hole in the back of my foot because I didn't wear socks that were high enough. These I have worn lower cut socks that are below the actual lining themselves and so far so good I've had no issues with them I think they're they've improved kind of the backing right there um, and there's a little bit of extra cushion which you can definitely notice so they made the exterior hard but the interior softer and I think this was a very welcome change because that was my probably my biggest complaint with the previous ones was I felt like the back needed something else now one thing that you'll notice probably looking from side to side is that this shoe looks a little bit different than most shoes and why is that i think that albert's actually went for more of a i don't know what you call it like a skeleton style i think they were trying to show what goes in like the thought process behind making a running shoe you know they're all about being eco-friendly and raw natural materials and so what's cooler than breaking everything down and just showing you the raw version of of what they've created so you know that's why they decided to put the the heel, the, the hard part of the heel on the outside and on the exterior so you can see that there's actually an, a harder heel to kind of help anchor you in. They could have put it on the inside, they decided not to. You also notice that the exterior, the sole feels a little bit raw and, and it looks that way. And I think this was a natural design cue that they decided, you know what, we're gonna make this shoe look as sustainable and as raw and natural as possible because that's kind of the Allbirds brand is it's all about nature and getting back to nature. And you know, I actually think that they do a good job with, with doing that. Um, now that may be a turnoff for some people. The looks can be pretty polarizing. You know, one thing that I have to say is, and you'll notice here on the back, this sticks out pretty substantially compared to most shoes. I have the tree dashers and then these are the tree flyers and you can see that they stick out significantly more than they do on the dashers. Now this was obviously a design cue but I have noticed that you know I'm walking downstairs this is clipping on it because it sticks out so much further than the back. Um, now my roommate is a very very big runner and he said that sometimes they put that in for people that are heel runners. So he's smarter than I am, but to me, it's a little bit of an odd design cue. And I have noticed this kind of catch on a couple of things, like when I'm walking down the stairs and stuff. And I mean, you can see I've even worn the heel out a little bit, but just something to keep in mind, they really went for the raw and natural feel. When you pull these out of the box, you can tell I didn't even wash these for the review because I wanted to show you exactly what they look like after about 30 days of use. But when you pull it out of the box, you'll notice that the cushion looks almost like styrofoam. And I think that was just them saying, hey, we're gonna make this look as natural as possible. Um, another thing as far as design cues go, this is actually one of the craziest colorways that they offer and they could offer. You'll probably notice here, you know, you've got different colors under like by the laces and things like that. This is kind of a uh, salmon orange color mixed in with the white. And then the bottom, a little dirty, but the bottom is a blue and a purple and a white. So these are some funky running shoes, uh, but I think they're a little bit fun. I enjoy them. They're not everybody's cup of tea for sure because just of how crazy and outlandish they are. But Allbirds does have some more restrained colors offered on their website. Um, they actually just ended up releasing these today and I did not see this color option, which I think is blizzard. Um, I did not see this color option available on the website. So maybe you can pick up something a little bit more understated if you're looking to get a pair of the tree flyers, but you don't want it to be as standout-ish and, and outlandish as, as, as my color way. Now, another thing that you'll notice is on the laces, the aglet itself says tread lighter. And you may be able to see it here, but you can see on this side, it says tread. And if you flip it over, it says lighter. And so just like a cool little design design cue, these are really, really light shoes. I mean, I'm used to wearing normal running shoes and I prefer a lighter shoe, but these are extremely light. And especially compared to these, you know, I think that, that the uh, tree flyers, even though they've got a bigger profile, I think that the tree flyers are actually lighter than the tree dashers which is obviously much more helpful when you're running. Now, I really like my dashers a lot, don't get me wrong, but these are definitely lighter as far as total overall weight. 
Keep in mind, their goal was to make this as high performing as possible. Now onto the bottom. This is something that Allbirds has gotten a lot of flack for in the past. I have their tree runners, I have their tree dashers, I have their wool runners, and they've always struggled with traction. They tended to go with a lighter, like a, a lower profile, um, and that's fine, but you tended to lose traction in more slippery environments. And you know, they did a much better job with the tree dashers, but these flyers have definitely more traction. Now, just for your curiosity, this is the tree flyer tread, and this is the gen one tree dasher tread. You can see, these were my running shoes, and you can see that there's almost no tread on these. So they have made a significant leap with, the, with this tread because these were really struggling when it came to slippery conditions and things like that. And those like sharp, fast cuts, I was kind of sliding all over the place because they did not have as much tread. Now these are even better tread than the, the wool runners. So this was a step up for the wool runners, but you can just tell this is a dedicated running shoe. This is more of a high performance training shoe, as I would say, and I think I mentioned in my previous video. So very happy with what they did with this, and I'm looking forward to them to, to them continuing to expand their tread lineup to something that can perform a little bit better. But this so far has done a very, very good job, even in the rain. In conclusion, my thoughts about the brand new Allbirds Tree Flyers. I think Allbirds did a great job with their very first iteration of a dedicated running shoe. Now, they are no strangers to the running game. They've designed many, many different types of shoes. It feels like they're always releasing new shoes, but this is really their first dedicated running shoe, and I think they did a great job. I've ran in these, I've played sports in these, I've done so many different things, and so far, I've been extremely impressed with the design, the quality, and just how they performed on my feet. I can honestly say, they, these are my favorite shoes to kind of just wear every single day because they fit me so well, they're very comfortable, they're so light, um, and then I can go from the office to going on a run or playing tennis or something fun like that. So I think they've done a great job with these shoes and I'm really excited to watch them continue to release new colors and then maybe a couple years down the line release a new version of these. And so I think they have done a fantastic job and I'm really, really happy with the design and, and what they've done here. As far as pricing goes, these are kind of going to be in the upper tier because they are dedicated running shoes. These come in at about 160 bucks uh, US, and I think that for the money, you know, they are kind of competing with those higher up competitors as far as the running range, but these are so light and so breathable and really, really good for being dedicated running shoes that I think they actually have a chance competing with others. You know, I have actually read other reviews online and things like that, and people have run marathons in these. So these are tried and true, tested by me and by others that are way more qualified to test them. Um, and these kind of stand the test of time and really hold their own, especially in a very competitive field of running shoes. If you wanna pick up the brand new Allbirds Tree Flyers or really anything else on the Allbirds website, please consider using the link in my description below. Um, it helps me out a lot, helps support the channel, and you even get a little bit of an added bonus, which you'll be able to see in the description below. So consider following that link and uh, you'll get a little treat from Allbirds on me. So that's my honest opinion of the Allbirds Tree Flyers. I've really enjoyed my time with them over the past month or so, and I definitely plan on picking up another pair in a different color. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I'm nearing in on a thousand subscribers and all the support I can get is really, really helpful. Please feel free to check out my other videos. I've got some other Allbirds videos as well. I've reviewed the wool runners after a couple of years of running in them and wearing them. I've reviewed the tree dashers, which have been my favorite shoes up until now. Um, and I've got a couple of other videos that you might find interesting too. So please consider checking those out using the link in my description to get a little bit of extra bonus when you go to purchase your pair of tree flyers. And besides that, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks, peace.